I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with your Market Minute for Thursday, February 2nd. Soybeans closed higher, continuing to keep an eye on weather in South America. Most forecasts have generally dry conditions over the next couple of weeks in most of Argentina. That also helps support soybean products. Argentina, most years, is the world's biggest exporter of soybean meal and oil. Also, there are some harvest delays in parts of Brazil. Corn closed lower, seeing a little bit of profit taking, but also watching that weather in South America. There was also some pressure from expectations for an increase in U.S. corn acreage this year. And wheat closed mixed, watching weather in the southwestern plains, which is expected to see more drought conditions in the near future against generally better conditions for soft red winter in the southeastern Midwest. Live and feeder cattle were higher, getting ready for widespread direct cash cattle business. Nothing really happened during Thursday's session with asking prices at 158 to 160 live and 252 plus dressed and no reported bids. And hogs closed higher on an oversold bounce, also seen support from the cash and wholesale business during the session. With your Market Minute for Thursday, February 2nd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.